Hi guys, it's Illuminostic, and I have the pleasure today of having a conversation with uh, our neighbor. Uh, his family owns Laguna Yanni, uh, which is probably the most beautiful place that I've ever been in my life. Um, it's really extraordinary. Uh, the water is crystal clear. There are waterfalls everywhere. There's wildlife. Um, his mom is a shamana, so there's ayahuasca. As part of Jungle Gnosis Retreats, we're going to uh, integrate this, and there's hammock camping out in the middle of the jungle. Uh, there are four lagoons. Uh, while we were there um, two days ago, I guess, there were butterflies landing on our noses and blue morphos all over the place, and it, it's really just extraordinary. Uh, Makana here, our guide, nearly stepped on a Dos Equis, which is probably the most poisonous snake in the world. Um, so it is really the jungle and you do have to pay attention, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, so we invited him to come by and talk a little bit about the history of the property and his mom's practice of shamanism and uh, their efforts at um, preservation of the rainforest. Uh, there's, you know, issues here. There's a lot of mining that's destroying stuff. There's oil. Um, there are chemicals in the water in certain places uh, where the mercury from the gold processing has contaminated it. Luckily here we don't have a lot of that, but um, in some parts of the jungle it's very bad. There's illegal hunting, which has affected um, our neighborhood. So, you know, I'm, I just, I'm still in shock that we live in such an amazing place. It's literally paradise. There's food everywhere, medicine everywhere. Um, it's, it, the weather's always perfect. There's hardly any bugs compared to other places in the jungle. So it's really extraordinary and I hope all of you get to come and visit. So, uh, Makana, would you like to tell us a little bit about your family and um, the land? Bueno, aquí nosotros vivimos en nuestro territorio que se llama Laguna Yani. Tenemos muchos bosques primario y secundario. Mi abuelo vivió muchos años en la selva de la Laguna Yani. Eh, emigraron de la comunidad serena hacia arriba hasta los Yanganates. Se llama la parte está condenado con con el límite de con el límite del Parque Nacional Yanganates y está en las tierras de mi abuelo, que mi abuelo viajó mucho para encontrar el terreno y trabajó para muchas empresas como la Taravita, medición de agua, el caudal del agua, trabajó en mulatos y, 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 mulatos y verdeyaco, un lugar que es centralmente donde está el tesoro de Jumandi, está en las montañas escondido, pero ese lugar Nadie puede llegar porque es muy sagrado, muy, mucha gente se pierde y mucha gente no puede llegar. Solo entran la gente grande como chamanes que conocen la, el camino y llegan a ese lugar para no sacar mucho oro, solo para sacar un poco para sobrevivir, no hacer mucho más dinero. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, maybe a little bit about the programs. Queremos trabajar ahora para cuidar el medio ambiente porque hay mucho el cambio el cambio climático queremos reforestar eh, como con voluntarios buscando semillas como de cedro eh, copal eh, como tamburo chuncho plantas maderables para reforestar el medio ambiente y los voluntarios pueden aprender De, la, de nuestra cultura, las costumbres, cómo poder sobrevivir y también cómo cocinar y cómo vivir de la naturaleza. Yeah, and there's a lot of amazing wildlife at his property as well. Uh, harpy eagles are the largest bird of prey. Um, they can be spotted on the uh, tours. Um, you can come and go self-guided. You can come as a volunteer and help them reforest. Um, or you, you can go with Makana for a hike in the jungle. Um, so there are lots of amazing ways to see Yanni. And so your mom is a shaman, correct? Um, can you tell us a little bit about her practice? Mi madre fue shamana de muchos años con mi abuelo. Practicó desde los 12 años hasta ahora tiene mi madre 70 años y sigue ejerciendo el poder de mi abuelo. Para tener ese, ese poder, 
mi abuelo siempre hacía ritual, soplar en la corona, así, aquí, para tener energía de una mujer chamana, hacer una mujer guerrera, con buenos, buenos eh, corazones para curar a la gente de la comunidad o a la gente del pueblo, no hacer daño, siempre con buena voluntad. Mi abuelo fue un guerrero muy, muy grande, trabajó en muchas empresas como cocinero, trabajó como camarero, y después conoció muchas plantas medicinales. Desde ahí ejerció como un buen chamán, viajó por todo Latinoamérica, como estuve Perú, Bolivia, Ecuador, todo el Ecuador. Y es, es por eso que fue un gran chamán. Uh -huh. So, ayahuasca es buena medicina para muchas cosas. Sí. Uh, tu, tu mente y tu espíritu. Para la mente, para el espíritu, para el corazón de todos los que quieren mirar el futuro, probar cómo es la naturaleza y la Pachamama. Uh -huh. Yes, there are a lot of amazing plants here that can cure just about anything. Um, it seems that there is a plant cure for every human ailment. And another benefit of coming to the Amazon and seeing this stuff for yourself is that you understand how nature speaks. Um, for example, this the plant that cures snake bite, Uh, the bark looks like a snake, the leaves look like snake heads. Um, Sangre de Drago is a uh, red resin from a tree that uh, helps the blood to rebuild damaged tissue like so science has never. Uh, the researchers said that um, it, it is beyond our current scientific understanding to, un to, to understand why it is or how it is that Sangre de Drago can help the blood to rebuild damaged tissue so well. Um, and my feeling is, you know, the more time I've been here and spent with Quechua people walking around in the jungle, um, there's a lot that we still don't know. There's so many medicines and so many uses for the plants, and a lot of these things are only known um, locally in certain areas, mm -hmm. so there is a lot to be learned, and um, it's really uh, inspiring and promising to think that we may be able to lessen the grip of the big pharma uh, corporations on the public because these plants are so liberating. And the f work that his family's doing reforesting, we have to replace the plants because, you know, they're going to be over harvested. But if we all just get involved, um, it, we can do extraordinary things down here. So um, I really want to encourage everyone to come and visit us. You can uh, email me, uh, there's an email in the description. Um, and these lagoons are just amazing. As I said before, you can go on your days off and visit on your own, or you can arrange to have a guide. Um, we'll also be having ceremonies there. So um, thank you so much, Makana, for coming and doing this talk with us. And um, hopefully you will all Get to meet him soon. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, and join our Patreon for um, exclusive premier content. Thank you. Gracias también y muchas gracias. Visiten la Amazonía y la Pachamama. Y la Laguna Yani es la madre naturaleza en todos los Yanganat Spa.
Just know that